friends, this is gonna be a cancer reading. [noise] So let's see what we got. [noise] Always trust your relatives and stay close to home. [laughs] That is cancer right there, that's cancer energy. Changes will occur to you every seven years. Okay, Neato cancer. Excellent. Um I think cancer's uh what, a mu- a mutable sign? I dunno, we handle change pretty well though. So that's good. That's a, that's a good tip. Because it means you're not gonna get stuck in any like, boring cycles. You know what I mean? Like, you're, you're gonna be evolving and and learning and facing new challenges and all that shit, so good on you. Okay, we'll pull the moon for Cancer for sure. And I'm being called to pull this. I think I'm gonna do Pisces next. So I'm just feeling I'm feeling water energy. Oh yeah, it's new moon in Cancer, isn't it? [noise] Yeah, bitch, bitch. [noise] Let's find it. [noise] Let us find the new moon in Cancer. Hello, are you ca- I know you're in here somewhere. Make me go through every last fucking card looking for what I fucking need. Here it is. Great. [noise] Oh, we got our protection sigil. [laughs] I always like to have this stuff. I'm not playing around. This is such a neat deck. Go ahead and look at that. Go ahead and copy that. Go ahead. You can. It's fine. It's a sigil. It's total totally white magic. It's good shit. It's good. You know what I mean? God, I just realized I said it's white magic and then I did the fucking Oh my god. I'm so pissed. You guys can we take a minute and talk about how fucking ridiculous these white supremacists are? Fucking taking over trying to take over everything. [noise] Down to a fucking hand gesture. Like, you can't even do an okay hand gesture anymore. Because people would think you're a fucking supremacist. I'm angry at the fucking supremacists for that stupid bullshit. You know they also took the fucking fort leaf clover too. Like, are you fuck- are you kidding me? This shit needs to stop. Stop. They trying to take over the fucking North Pantheon. It's so disgusting. I just had to take a minute to speak about that. That shit's pissing me off. So you could be dealing with Oh, when when outcome is forecast. Nice. Changes will occur every seven years. [noise] So you guys could be dealing with prejudicial people. People could be treating you differently or people just could be assholes to you. Um Cuz you look different from them. Alternatively, people could be projecting onto you. Putting energy onto you that is not yours. Right? So, like, maybe somebody in your life is fucking prejudiced and they put that energy on you. So It could also be a situation where people just assume that you're a certain way even though you're not. Like, my husband gets people sometimes who uh are like afraid of him. You know? Or like very suspicious of him because he wears a goatee and he keeps his hair cut short. He keeps his head buzzed, you know? It's just, it's just the style he likes, you know? He doesn't have a bike, but it's kind of like a biker look. I gave him shit when we first got together. I said, "Your whole vibe is like a biker." [laughs] I call him biker Amish cuz he has a big old beard. [laughs] I didn't know what the hell I was saying. He just looked at me. I was like, "Yeah, like a biker Amish." And he went like what? [laughs] All right. Oh, always trust your relatives and stay close to home. Um, look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture. Okay, so that's fascinating. So, also you're dealing with Sagittarius and Libra energy. I love these cards so much. I wanna keep going. Can we get just a couple more? I'm having so much fun with these. I love these guys. Bring love into the situation. All right, so you don't have to hold any grudges. You don't have to be mad at anybody. A personal issue will reach resolution. Be bold and make the first move. 
that's difficult for cancerian energy that we're always waiting for a sign we're always waiting for when the mood feels right you know like we're, we're gonna put our fucking our feeler not yet scuttle back scuttle out no you know it's like that character on Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, the, 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 well, they're all aliens, but, um, the empath, the bug one, yeah, that's, that's us, okay, so that's difficult, show the world the real use, this is how you're gonna get around this, okay, that's how you're gonna get around this, hesitation. Just look at the bigger picture, okay? So your family needs you. Your family needs you and your community needs you, Cancerian. And that is uh, very much on point for your energy. I'm not surprised at all about that. Show the world the real you. Yeah, exactly. There's something that you're bringing to the table that your family and maybe your community like where you grew up, where you consider home, where you go for the holidays, if you do, you know, travel for holidays and shit like that. Show the world the real you. And then changes will occur to you every seven years. So a win-win outcome is forecast and bring love into the situation. Yeah, you can't lose if you are operating from a place of um, authenticity, Cancerian. You can't lose if you're operating from a place of authenticity. Cancers love it when shit just falls into alignment. Like, that's our whole deal. Yeah, you're getting out of, like, a toxic situation, a toxic relationship, a codependency issue. You're blocking out addictions. You're blocking out codependencies. You're blocking out... Um, the naysayers... The narcissists, all of that. A win win outcome is forecast. You're going to walk the fuck away. Eight of Cups. And that's going to be a win win. A win and a win for you. Maybe. I don't know. I'm picking up. It's all about you right now, Cancer. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. You've been working really hard on yourself. Yeah, I saw Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Show the world the real you. Judgment came out and Nine of Wands. Oh, wow. You might have to give a testimony. You're a survivor, Cancerian. You're a survivor. Yeah. Yeah, this could be like you, like, right like an autobiography or a memoir or like you become a motivational speaker or like you give talks or some shit like that. Yeah, you're supposed to talk about your journey. You're supposed to talk about how you turned your back and embraced your divine feminine self, right? Like, like your self-love journey and how that got you through. Yeah, you're supposed to talk about, like, your self-healing journey. And it somehow ties into money. There may be a mindset that you've acquired that uh, you need to share. But you might not have fully recognized the fruits of that labor. Three of Cups. People could be harnessing your energy. People could be, like, using magic to steal your blessings. People could even be psychically spying on you. And that that could be part of what you're meant to talk about. Here it is again. Yeah, this is what's going on. This is why you're not seeing the fruits of any of your labors. Because you have people who are literally fucking playing in your energy. Yeah, see? They come to you, they fill up their cup, and then they take it somewhere else. You're the source. You're going to find something out and it's probably going to blow your fucking mind. You're the source of something. You're like a goddess incarnate. You understand what I'm getting at? People literally come to you 
fill their fucking... They don't even know they're doing it. Like, how many people actually credit the divine when they're divinely inspired? You're the source of something. You're an embodiment of something. Bring love into the situation. The devil, the king of wands. Yeah, you're going to get news. You're going you've been receiving downloads from a very toxic masculine who's been trying to keep you trapped because he thinks he owns you. Or he thinks you're his sex slave, or he thinks that that's what you're meant to be. Somebody's trying to like bombard you with their own toxic masculinity. But you're not the fuck having any of it. Yeah, you blocked this motherfucker. Yeah. The Hierophant. With the Page of Swords. Yeah, you, you have divine intervention. You have a gift from the Most High. You can block these, these motherfuckers out. Or the Most High is blocking them out for you. Or you can trust that that's what's happening. Also, like I said, if this is you and you're divine, which you are, excuse me, there is no if the fuck about it. You're God incarnate, okay? Got it? Get it? Got it? Good. You are cutting these people off. Look at the story. See? You are... If you haven't already, you are going to recognize your true nature. And you're going to stop blessing these people. Like, I'm just going to talk to you like you're a goddess. Because that's what I'm picking up. Like, these people don't even know who they're... The chariot. Cancer. Yeah. Boom. Show the world the real you. Look at the bigger picture. Also, you may be afraid of getting carried away, but don't worry about it. Somebody's getting sent to jail, too. Just FYI. Chariot. With the Eight of Swords. Somebody's going to jail. I think you were supposed to, like, hang yourself or some shit. Kill yourself. Yeah. Yeah. These are all the downloads that have been coming that you've been blocking out. Confusion, self-harm or self-stagnation, and paranoia. Possibly self- I'm picking up self-harm. Somebody thought it would be funny to try to push you, psychically speaking, to do something like that. But yeah, you're meant to, to be um, actually talking about this. Ten of Swords again. You may be called to witness too, honestly, if somebody's been... Somebody could be stuck in a mental prison that they wanted you to be stuck in too. Like, yeah, you put an end to it though. You don't, you're not playing around. It's the King of Wands. Yeah, who's been doing work on you. It's this King of Wands who's sending you all of this. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Is that Four of Swords? Yeah, see? This could be you and your Divine Counterpart. the person that you were eventually meant to be with yeah but somebody wants to rush in and block that that this is a, um, an imposter this is a false flame yeah somebody who just wants 
you. Like, there's nothing to this except lust, 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 lust. Somebody just wants to get their dick wet in your cup. That's all that. Somebody wants to wet their wand in your cup. That's all I'm picking up on this. And they're pissed. They're fucking angry. Yeah, because you're blocking them out. You won't give them what they want. Two of Pentacles fell out. Somebody could be juggling. Yeah, also, you're just overburdened in life anyway. Like, you've been so overburdened in whatever this current situation is that you've just put all of your extra energy into manifesting a better life for yourself. And maybe you feel conflicted about doing that. That could be what's halting your manifestation. Also, somebody is wanting to cause conflict. Like, you're sick, you're, or you're just sick of the conflict. You're overburdened, and everybody around you is argumentative. Yeah, you're blocking out an, any offer from this person. Like, if this person tries to, like, woo you or charm you or apologize, like, it's too late. It's time. It's just, it's Penny. Like, you're on your way. Like, it's, it's just pennies to you. You don't care. It's too little too late. Yeah. Somebody's spouse is going away for a long time. It looks like. Anywhere from 8 to 10 years maybe. Two of swords. But it's in reverse. Yeah, you know what you want. I'm picking up. Two of swords is like being at an M in an impasse but you're not at an impasse anymore you're ready to move on yeah you've been you've been manifesting this for quite some time you've been manifesting some kind of escape so oh. I guess now is the time to just kind of surrender to it all right like it's like, um, to finish the project, you have to stop working on it, right? Like, and you've been working on it really hard, and I think it's probably ready. If this was a novel, I'd say Spirit's telling you it's time to send it to the publisher, right? If this is uh, a couple songs you wrote, Spirit's saying they're ready to be recorded, okay? If this is a manifestation you're bringing into your life, yep, Ace of Wands, Three of Wands, absolutely. fucking -lutely. Yep, I'm right on target. If this is a manifestation that you're trying to bring into your life, Spirit is saying it's ready now. It's ready. It's It's ready. Like, you just made a coffee table or some shit, right? Like, you don't need to put all the finishing touches have been touched. Does that make sense? All the finishing touches have been put on. There's no more finishing touches. You don't need to finish up this touch. <laughs> you don't need to finish up that touch. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, there's no more finishing touches. You're, it's ready. It's ready for market. It's ready. It's the shit's ready. All you gotta do now is surrender, baby. And that, there you go, Cancer. All you gotta do is sit back and wait for this shit to come to you. All right, it's ready. Mwah. <laughs>